To improve your score on the trunk stability push-up, planks is a really good corrective exercise. So to do a plank, there's a lot of variations most people know. Uh, one of the most important components is that your hips are level, not down. So you definitely never want to drop down. So bring them up. If that's hard for you, you can prop them up just a little bit higher, but never lower. But staying nice straight will be the, the goal. Um, you can hold these for time. To advance them, you can do a single leg variation. So you're just holding, you can hold for one, two, three, and switch. Just trying to maintain that level core, not shifting weight. Um, you can hold for whatever time on each of those. That uh, makes it more challenging. You can also do a variation where you're um, lifting your arm up and tapping the opposite shoulder. And then again, just trying to minimize the side to side movement as much as you possibly can. Another variation of plank, uh, you know, you can do elbows like, uh, you know, like is shown, or you can do planks from a hand position. Uh, that's usually typically just a little bit easier. Um, but all those variations are really good for planks, um, so that will help your score. Another corrective exercise for the trunk stability is a single leg glute bridge. It's a really good exercise for, for anyone. Uh, so you're going to start in this kind of position, uh, knees bent, feet kind of together. You're going to lift your hips up, and you want the key here is you want to be in a straight line. So your hips are in line with your shoulders and knees. You can also find your uh, ASIS, the front bony part of your hip. Uh, so you wanna make sure those are level. And then you're gonna kick one leg up, making sure those hips stay level. That's the hard part on this one, is hips stay level. Uh, while you're kicking that up, just keeping that straight line. One, two, three, switch. And you can either do same leg for repetitions, you can alternate legs. A really good strengthening exercise for glutes, hamstrings. Anytime you start to lose that level pelvis position or the hips start to drop, then you're done. You want to take a break on that. To improve your score on the trunk stability push-up, you definitely need shoulder strength. And uh, push-ups can, can help you with that test, even though the trunk stability push-up puts your shoulders in a higher than normal position. So to progress push-ups, you can do an incline push-up. That's probably the easiest way to do them. Uh, but then you need to quickly kind of progress to a normal push-up. Uh, again, you know, I don't really encourage people to do push-ups with their hands above their head like we do in the trunk stability push-up, but, you know, just doing repetitions of regular push-ups will help or any other chest strengthening exercises uh, like bench press, dumbbell bench press, chest flies, all of those exercises will help.